whereas I, Greg Abbott, Governor of Texas, issued a disaster proclamation on March 13, 2020, certifying under Section 418.014 of the Texas Government Code that the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, poses an imminent threat of disaster for all counties in the state of Texas and Whereas, in each subsequent month effective through today, I have renewed the disaster declaration for all Texas counties and Whereas, the Commissioner of the Texas Department of State Health Services, Dr. John Hellerstedt, has determined that COVID-19 continues to represent a public health disaster within the meaning of Chapter 81 of the Texas Health and Safety Code and Whereas, I have issued executive orders and suspensions of Texas laws in response to COVID-19 aimed at protecting the health and safety of Texans and ensuring an effective response to this disaster and Whereas, a shortage of hospital capacity would hinder efforts to cope with the COVID-19 disaster and Whereas, previous executive orders have enacted measures to avoid a shortage of hospital capacity and Whereas, elevated concerns exist concerning hospital capacity in certain parts of the state, and Whereas, in coping with the COVID-19 disaster, government officials should look for the least restrictive means of combating the threat to public health, and Whereas, hospital capacity for COVID-19 patients can be overly diminished by surgeries and procedures that are not medically necessary to correct a serious medical condition or to preserve the life of a patient, and Whereas, the governor is responsible for meeting the dangers to the state and people presented by disasters under Section 418.011 of the Texas Government Code, and the legislature has given the governor broad authority to fulfill that responsibility, and Whereas, under Section 418.012, the governor may issue executive orders having the force and effect of law and whereas failure to comply with any executive order issued during the COVID-19 disaster is an offense punishable under section 418.173 by a fine not to exceed $1,000 and may be subject to regulatory enforcement. Now, therefore, I, Greg Abbott, Governor of Texas, by virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the Constitution and laws of the State of Texas, do hereby order the following, effective at 11.59 p.m. on Friday, June 26, 2020. Every hospital that is licensed under Chapter 241 of the Texas Health and Safety Code and is also located in Bear, Dallas, Harris, or Travis counties shall postpone all surgeries and procedures that are not medically necessary to diagnose or correct a serious medical condition of or to preserve the life of a patient who without timely performance of the surgery or procedure would be at risk for serious adverse medical consequences or death 
as determined by the patient's physician. Provided, however, that this prohibition shall not apply to any surgery or procedure that, if performed in accordance with the commonly accepted standard of clinical practice, would not deplete any hospital capacity needed to cope with the COVID-19 disaster. The Governor may, by proclamation, add to or subtract from the list of counties covered by this prohibition. This executive order does not supersede executive orders GA-10, GA-13, GA-17, GA-19, GA-24, GA-25, or GA-26. This executive order shall remain in effect and in full force until modified, amended, rescinded, or superseded by the Governor. Given under my hand, this the 25th day of June 2020. Governor Greg Abbott